a reason that I feel like sometimes it can be scary being alone is because me personally, me being an introvert and everything, like I, the way I am in so much peace. Hi guys, good morning. So I'm in the car, or officially good morning. I'm in the car, I have to get some gas, and then I'm gonna be on my way to Inca to visit my friend. I'm super excited. I really wish I would have went, but before my stop, I have to stop and get gas. I survived yesterday, but I so badly wanted to quit my job. Like, no, I wanted to quit my job. And like, me and having to get gas right now is like making me realize a reason that I cannot quit my job, which kind of sucks. Okay, so I gotta go to Target. I gotta go to Target and get, um, sorry for the beeping y'all. I really gotta go to, I take off my shoes and I drive. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it. Okay guys, we made it. I'm at a stoplight, so let me text her really quick. This is the light. Okay, y'all, It's I'm supposed to be going to Target, but I don't think this looks like Target. Okay, so I don't think this is the one I saw in the thing, but I think I might get this one. Do I have to turn left all the way over there? Oh my god, what type of... Listen, I'm so deeply concerned with this one. But it says I can't return a air bed. So there's that. I'm just waiting for the bed to get back up so I can go to sleep when I turn. It's 343. I literally cannot sleep like at all. One eternity later. Also, both of my luggage things broke, but so my stuff is all packed in the car. So not to the I actually want to go like regular video on campus. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't know, y'all. If y'all go into college and you're a person of color, especially. And you're not considering an HBCU, I want to know why. <laughs> nah, because we gotta talk about it. Okay, y'all. So I still have my bond on everything. I'm just so tired, y'all. Like, I knew I wasn't gonna sleep. I've never, like, when I say I've never, I have not tried to spend the night with someone since I was, like, literally, like, an actual infant. <laughs> I cannot make this up. So I'm glad I did that for myself, though, because I feel like if I wouldn't have done that, I would have probably regretted it making sure I got all my batteries and stuff. I need to get a car charger for my thing because I only have one more battery left. But I actually want to go walk around campus really quick as well. I've never tried this before, but I'm going to try the vanilla sweet cream cold brew for the first time. Like, I swear I've really never had it before. Um, and I got this shirt from somewhere else, but... Anyways, I think I'm going to try that. And... 
everything bagel because y'all i had a bagel from panera when i used to babysit for this one family and it was really so good and it made me because i always used to downplay bagels like i don't know if it's just me but i literally used to downplay ba ba down play bagels um it's really crazy i've been up since three this morning y'all i ain't never appreciated my home so much in my life like i literally love my house like thank you mom and dad for getting the house because obviously like i want my own house but like i feel like every time i travel and i stay in places that are like not hotels like it makes me 10 times more grateful for like my own house like i i cannot express that i cannot express that enough good morning you think we're silent today hi good morning i had a mobile order for summer yeah we got you ready summer. all right now. thank you Thank you. Can you do the um, yes, please. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Alright, so I'm super excited. Camera, please. Do your big one, please, camera. Alright, so I got this. I can turn my car off. Because I'm literally about to just sit here and eat. Because why not? I have time to waste. I'm about to try it. It's not bad. No, like, this is actually pretty good. Okay. Okay. It kind of tastes like it's just sugar, but I feel like since it's cold brew in it, it's probably not as bad. Now I'm going to use the straw. I'm so good. I think I'm going to go hang out there. Y'all, this is bad. I'm gonna have to give this to my mom. This is what it looks like. I've never had their, like like I said, I worked at Starbucks and there's a lot of things that if I tried that I liked it. Okay, not what I was expecting, but it's not like horrible, you know? I switched back into my other shoes. So I'm about to get out. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be like scared enough to pull this out during Target, but. I'm gonna go ahead and go inside because I do have to have like a restroom break. So, okay, so I'm literally walking out of Target now. Um, I think I'm going to head out. I gotta text my boss back, my manager, one of my managers. That, well, she's not really. Well, this lady, this family that I'm working with, I gotta text her back because she asked. She asked for like confirmation. At the next and line, turn right. It's giving. I just need to learn how to grow a pair. <laughs> That's what. The, is giving like is giving i need to learn how to grow a freaking pair because honestly like the way i'm not gonna say i'll do anything for money but the way that i just want to do so much because i know i need money and i'm going into student teaching is really just like bad like I, i'm willing to risk like my mental side. stability for that shit that's, that's crazy yo i was reading this i was watching this one i gotta turn this down a little bit y'all i was literally watching and it just made me think about like what all would you do to be able to like have money like i know that money kind of like runs a lot of things everything revolves around money and i hate how like so much sorry all my music hello my thing was not was not listening to me but anyways y'all i know so much falls on money and but it really just like brought me to the type of conversation where it's like how much would you do for money? Because I don't know if y'all watch like Bad Boys um, Club, like Bad Boys in Texas, their new, their new thing that they have going on. But the way that this one guy was literally so real when he said this, and he was like, I, I don't know what y'all got going on, but like I'll do anything for money. He was like, I'll literally die to get some money. And I was like, no, because like it's so deep. Like <laughs> the fact that so much is put on like this piece of paper that still got slave masters on it, just like. I, I can I cannot I cannot and then but like people need to be relevant like so bad and I feel like especially in America because I feel like America has literally glorified entertainment to the extent that it's almost as if people like idolize them like it's getting sickening like truly I none of my friends from any other country really think that like entertainment and like all this other stuff should be like they, they never grew up with that like mentality like their cultural their culture can i talk hello their culture none of their cultures are like based on this and i feel like america's culture is like deeply embedded into 
entertainment and like idolizing like all of this stuff like the fact that there can be people that are billionaires but yet we have people that are literally homeless like what's going like nah because we got capitalism is real real like this isn't even a I'm not even trying to have a political chit chat but it's really bad but anyways so it made me think like what would y'all really do to get some money though like I get people needing to like save money but it's making me think like what would you really do to save money though <laughs> because I feel like if I was a guy and I told my dad I wanted to quit I feel like my dad would be like absolutely not like you need to get it together although my dad is still saying that Loki but I feel like he would also say that definitely if I was a guy right um, because you know how toxic masculinity, you know, men have to push through things. They have to be hard workers. Not that women don't, but you know, just like that mentality. Although personally, I feel like my parents have always had like a good balance of like, nah, like I've had to work for everything. Like, no, I had to buy my own car by myself. Like if anything, my brother got to have his own car without having to pay a dime. Like, but, um, I kind of wanted to take pictures cause I had a, sh I had like a whole outfit that has like yellow but i didn't bring my tripod but y'all if i had my tripod i would really get out there and take pictures on that campus but um but i can't but i had some really nice shoes that would have went with that outfit oh my gosh yeah i gotta come back up here no i'm i'm a sucker for like going somewhere just to take my pictures because like i swear y'all all the time that i was in boone for like the majority of the time i literally kept being like oh my gosh i can't do this because like i need someone to take my pictures oh my gosh i want to do this because i want someone to take my pictures when i tell y'all now i do not like i do not care no absolutely not like i will if i want to take pictures in a different destination because i'm such an introvert and like i never want to feel forced to have to like have human interactions if i don't want to i will go and take my because i can take some good pictures if you guys have not seen my vlog if you guys have not seen my vlog on um just like taking pictures like by yourself which is why i've been starting like this solo diaries because i think a lot of people really think that like they can't be alone like slash like they get kind of like bored being alone it's like nah like i really love a good alone session i love a good photography session I, the way i'm so comfortable with like just myself it's almost nearly scary like no i feel like if you're the type of person that is not able to be alone you know or like that's something you want to work on like you know i'm not saying that you have to but i'm saying like you know some people really really do struggle to do that but when i tell you i will go out to eat by myself <laughs> like i will go out to eat by myself i will go to the movies by myself, and i will like actually be having a good time and sometimes people i feel like they kind of don't know if they should feel bad for me or not so they will literally come over there and be like hey and i'm like i was like just taking myself out like i'm not like i'm i'm happy like what do you mean girl what do you mean but i feel like it's just so education center oh that's cute is that a school or something but anyways i feel like it's just so different and it's something that like people don't see for real like people don't see people just be by themselves or hang out by themselves or talk to themselves like i feel like it's something that like people really don't see a lot um but I'm basically saying that to say, because I do this all the time, y'all. I had this conversation with my friend today, yesterday actually, and she was like, you always start on a tangent and then you go like, I said that to say, but it doesn't connect. And I'm like, it's giving ADHD, girl. It's giving ADHD. What? But anyways, y'all, I'm super excited for tomorrow because I have a nail appointment and then the next day I have like my photography shoot or whatever, which I'm sure she's so annoyed with me because I've changed today so many times. I'm doing something every day this week. Like, I really hope this week turns out better than I think it's going to be because I'm also one of those people that I still want to have my relaxation time. Like, no, I know I need to make money. I know I need to be honest and real with myself, but, like, I still want to have a, re a relaxation time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. A reason that I feel like sometimes it can be scary being alone is because me personally, me being an introvert and everything, like, I the way i am in so much peace i am in so much peace when i'm by myself it's like nearly scary it really is and i'm not saying that to say that like i never want people around me but i'm just saying like i've come i've gotten to a point where i'm so comfortable being alone that i actually like when i'm with people it's so sad because i don't even go out with people like that anymore but when i'm with people i like still desire to want to be 
<laughs> like no like I, re- I actually like being by myself I really do because there's no beef there's no tea no shade nothing like nothing's going on it's just pure vibing you know what I mean and like when you get in a bad mental state you know it sucks but because you you know you're by yourself but like it's still just so I just really value my alone time Okay, I want to cry. <sighs> my camera was dead, and now I'm like actually hot, so I need to take off this hoodie. I'm a hoodie coat girl. Okay, period. So I got this one because I didn't have the other kind. I literally just got this because now I live back home with my parents, as I've been saying. And um, if you want your own creamer, skip it. You gotta buy it for cost. I also got these. The wipes. The girls that get it get it and if you don't get it what's going on because like are you really telling me you use the restroom with tissue like no be serious like be so serious because I, I can i can't do it <laughs> i can't do it never been able to do it i gotta go to my budget calendar because stuff is not added up <laughs> I'm telling you. Tell me, be honest. Is it just me? I feel like I always have to put a bonnet on my head. Like if my hair is freshly done like it is now. Like, I know y'all see these roots. This is freshly done. Like, absolutely not. So I always feel like I gotta put like a, um, dang my, who? Y'all, y'all know I'm out of it. Huh, y'all know I'm out of it. My voice don't crack like that, I'm out of it. I always feel like I gotta put a bonnet on before I take anything off. Like I'm that serious. Like, do y'all see how much people charging for braids? If you want decent looking braids, not even decent if you want good quality like gonna last type braids listen don't want it like you did it yourself type braids because you can't do braids that good except for the girlies that really be killing these knotless braids for real by themselves like y'all different i really do love that for y'all y'all I'm about to go home i'm so i'm so over it y'all i'm just so exhausted that i really tried to go in there do my big one <laughs> Not do my big one. I tried to go in there, get out real quick, and these people were literally like pushing it to try to make me. It was given, why you want me to stay in there? But um, no, y'all, that was really crazy. Like people were really like not wanting to move out the way. Before, I'm gonna keep it to myself that actually, I think I'm a little bothered now. And looking at me like I'm a problem because I need to get out the way. There's so many, like, first off, also, why do y'all go shopping on Sundays? Why? Because when I'm living a big girl real life, like for real, like I'm, my shopping days are probably gonna be either Monday or Wednesday. Like whatever day, all the people ain't gonna be there, that's when I'ma shop. Because I'm not wasting no time. I'm going to church, I'm eating, I'm going home. Sometimes I wish I could be like normal people and actually put my crap in the back so it doesn't, so I don't have to watch it fall. But it's giving I can never be normal. That's really what it's giving. One eternity later. Okay, so now I'm back home and I don't know if I showed you guys the full look of my braids but I just pulled it back because I am back home and I'm just relaxing so I put it back I was like dusting and cleaning I did get to put some stuff up but I just didn't get to put all of my clothes and everything up um but I did put some stuff up okay okay but yeah let's see what my hair looks like y'all if I didn't like in depthly show y'all before the curls are kind of curling it's like the boho with these are considered large knotless braids i really love it i'm taking my photo shoot soon and i personally just feel like she did a really good job like things that she did that mine also cut churches but i'm getting them done tomorrow which i'm so excited all right so i'm gonna show you guys some of the recent perfumes i've been wearing um that are like frequently new for myself not like new as in like purchasing new as in myself so I got the BDK, um, BDK Parfums, <laughs> um, Rouge Smoking, R Rouge Smoking. So this is the one I got from BDK. The one that everyone says smells like literal, <laughs> a lot of people say it smells like Coke, like the drink, like a sizzling or like a bubbly Coke. It smells incredible. No, I truly am intoxicated by this one. Like, I think it smells so good, right? I think it smells so good. But I just don't like how it, it's like a skin scent. And I'm pretty, pretty, no, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I need to be, I wear perfume for myself. And like, if people like it, they like it. But I need to be able to still smell myself. And the fact that I'm over here having to do this for a perfume that costs this much, I need them to make it make sense. Then I have Delina Exclusive. And I actually got this one in the bigger size. But I wanted to try it again. 
um, the Lena exclusive. And then lastly, I got this. This is like one of the new ones. I'm going to put the exact name because I don't remember. Um, Perfume de Marley. <laughs> is that girl every single time. Like, when I tell you they really did their big one with this scent, no, I'm <laughs> no hype, no reject. Like, they really did their big one with this one. And let me tell you why. This one lasts so, I literally took a shower and still smelt this. It lasts so long, so long. And I've only had to use like this much of it so far. It's, no, it's, re I am blown away because I feel like a lot of their scents truly don't last that long. I will say, I feel like this is more of a like mature scent. Like it's giving, I own three cars. I already have my own house um i'm paying my own bills 100 percent. like it's giving i'm an independent woman <laughs> which unfortunately we have not yet it's not in the plans yeah like god said give it a couple give it a year or so okay but we'll get there right hello guys i hope you guys are doing great so i couldn't get the nail appointment i wanted so it's about 3 48 and i'm gonna go ahead and head to the city that i normally get my braids done um at so but it's not like I'm out of breath. It's because I just ran in and out of my... Ooh, I thought my camera was about to drop, y'all. If I sound out of breath, it's because I literally just ran in and out of my house like three or four times. Like, I cannot make this up. And it's also so hot today, y'all. Like, I'm just not used to um, South Carolina's weather, weather anymore. Can I food out of the started for you? No, thank you. I had a mobile order for summer. A mobile for summer? Yes. Let me check on that, okay? Okay, thank you. Darlene, you're going to pull it around. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, no, okay. I was about to say, I was like, wait, hold on, because I didn't made these before, and I know what light ice is, okay? Light ice is literally half of it, so I'm like, I just can't deny, yeah. No longer blood that I can see. I'm on my way to meet you. Yeah. All these trials and tribulations got me tired, I need rest. And I heard that I can't come to you when weary of my flesh. You hope